Hello Foundry Church, my name is Don Van Single. And I'm Jill Van Single. And we are going to do devotions with you today. This is day five of week eight. The reading today comes from Philippians 3, 4 through 14. Though I myself have reasons for such confidence, if someone else thinks they have reasons to put confidence in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day, of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, in regard to the law, a Pharisee, as for zeal, persecuting the church, as for righteousness, based on the law, faultless. But whatever were gains to me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage, that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness that comes from God on the basis of faith. I want to know Christ, yes, to know the power of his resurrection and participation in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, and so somehow attaining to the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained all this, or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do, forgetting, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. If I were in Paul's position, I would have given up a long time ago, back when he was still Saul, right around the time he got knocked to the ground and called out by God. At that moment, he lost his entire identity. He wasn't the enforcer of God's will that he believed himself to be, and he got a hard correction. After an experience like that, I'd be tempted to crawl into a hole and hide. I certainly wouldn't want to go around drawing attention to how badly I had messed up. Paul, however, loves talking about how very wrong he was. Losing everything, including the misguided construct that was his God, was the best thing that ever happened to him. Those things were only holding him back, keeping him from pursuing the real and living God. Occasionally, okay, frequently, we're like Saul, buried deep in self-righteous belief of an image of a God that is not God. It's easy to do. We don't have to look hard to find encouragement and approval for any belief. But in Philippians 3 verse 8, we see the true value of anything that does bring us into relationship with Christ. In our eagerness to pursue Christ, we must be careful not to form relationships with things and ideas that we have mistaken for God. Sometimes that means we must wait, settle into uncertainty, and be at peace with hope that points to a real and living God. And a few questions uh, to think through. What about God are you waiting to find? And what is the God that holds you back? We hope all of you are doing well, uh, and we look forward to being physically at the Foundry sometime soon and worshiping with you. Thanks.